after the archbishop ordains the new priest, all the priests present come up to lay hands on the new priest's head. It is a sign of a single presbyterate, a one priesthood given by the one high priest, Jesus Christ. The archbishop prays over the candidate, consecrating him to the Lord. The prayer recalls the history I have spoken of previously, the Levites, Aaron and his sons, Jesus and his apostles. As in past times, God set aside men to serve the people on his behalf, so too today. At the end of the prayer, the new priest is vested with the liturgical garments of the priest. The dalmatic and deacon stole are removed. The stole represents the state of the ordained office, so a new stole, one that represents the office of the priest, is placed over his shoulders. With the vestments are silent prayers. Lord, restore the stole of immortality, which I lost through the collusion of our first parents, and unworthy as I am to approach thy sacred mysteries, may I yet gain eternal joy. Finally, the chasuble is put on. It represents the charity of Christ which covers everything. And over all these put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. He prays, O Lord, who hast said, My yoke is sweet and my burden light, grant that I may so carry it as to merit thy grace. Fully vested, the priest again kneels before the archbishop. The archbishop anoints the palms of the priest, the hands through which Christ will make himself present in the Eucharist. As priests and kings were anointed with oil in the Old Testament, as Jesus is the anointed one, anointed through the power of the Holy Spirit, so too the priest is anointed by the oil of holy chrism. His hands anointed, the new priest receives the gifts of bread and wine that represent the lives of the people from the archbishop. The archbishop exhorts him, Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you do, imitate what you celebrate, and conform your life on the mystery of the Lord's cross. Lastly, in the rite of ordination, the archbishop and the other priests present give the newly ordained the embrace of the fraternal kiss. After this, the Mass continues along its normal fashion with the Eucharistic liturgy.